Good morning, YouTube, BookTube, or Johnny. You know, you know. I said again, I say BookTube, but I don't know if I'm really a part of the BookTube community, and I really don't know what that is because I'm sure there are all kinds of separate BookTube communities. They're just not one, but there could be thousands of BookTube communities, so... I don't know. I'm just like uh, making videos because that's what I've been doing the last five years. And yeah, there's one thing I was thinking about that I, well, first of all, you, you'll notice that I took down the video that I made yesterday. It's because I got an email this morning saying if I didn't delete that video that they were going to call the Holland police and have me arrested. So I didn't want to be arrested. Uh, I don't want to go to jail. So I, I, I just took the video and made it private. But I do thank you for all the support and the positive comments. And um, So anyway, uh, but I did change the, the when you um, make, you describe yourself when you uh, start a YouTube channel. And when I started making these videos five years ago, I said I was a book collector. Well, I keep, I've been thinking about that lately. I'm not, Maybe that's not a good description because people have been assuming that I just collect books and I, I don't read anything. You know, I just put books down in the lower level or on the shelf, and, and I don't read anything. I don't read. And uh, I read all the time because that's all I do. I mean, uh, I, I don't watch TV very rarely, if ever. I don't go to movies. Uh, I don't leave the house. I'm not into going to bars. I'm not into craft beer. I'm not into climbing mountains. I'm not into extreme sports of any kind. You know, I just sit in this house writing in my paper diary. I'm on page 599 today. Today is May the 30th, 2021. It's 1041 in the morning. My wife went to church this morning and I was um, debating on making a video. First I said no, then I said yeah, then I said no, then I said yeah. Well, I decided, well, first I was going to show you that uh, I mentioned the Blue Stocking uh, bookshop here in Holland, Michigan, and we've been taking some of the books I've been taking, de-hauling, I've been taking to that store for in-store credit. And she's had, a, she's had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday uh, a dollar bag sale. That means you can, whatever books you can get into a bag, you pay a dollar. And my wife and I, we went over there, it was a Friday morning, and my wife bought three bags of books. And I just got one bag, you know, a plastic bag. It wasn't a paper bag, a plastic bag of books. And I thought I was showing those to you. Plus, on the way home that Friday, we stopped at the local Goodwill, Southside Goodwill, and I found a few used books. But I might do that this week, but this morning I was just going to just ramble, I suppose, and, and may, to say I do read. <laughs> That's the point. I do read. And I thought a good way that you could see my reading life is just to read my online diary, Crooked Fingers. I've been writing there since March 2001. And I I pretty much record there what I've been reading, or what I read every day. And so I get up in the morning, and this morning I was reading The Collected Sermons of James Durham. I've been reading uh, Sermon 2 of 7, The Blessedness of the Death of Those Who Die in the Lord. So I was reading that this morning, and then I... I've been reading, uh, one of the books I got at Blue Stockings Friday was this book. I think I, sh I mentioned it in my video yesterday. The American Procession, the Major American Writers from 1830 to 1930, The Crucial Century by Aver Alfred Gazan. And 
I've read about 53 pages. The first chapter is on Henry Adams, who wrote the, the book Education of Henry Adams. And now I've been reading the chapters on Ralph Waldo Emerson. I mean, Alfred Kazan was a literary critic. He wrote books. Uh, he's very famous for his book on Native Grounds, which came out in 1942. And I have another book of his called Contemporaries. Uh, he wrote a book called God and the American Writers. And this one I, I picked up Friday. And it has chapters on Emerson, Thoreau, Edgar Allan Poe, Chapter 5, Whitman to Lincoln. Then he has a Chapter 6 on Melville. And I noticed that when I got this book, the chapter on Melville was all marked up. <laughs> but uh, I wanted the book, and plus it was only, you know, it was almost free. So there's a chapter on Melville, Dickinson, Mark Twain, Henry James, uh, Dreisner, Stephen Crane, Henry Adams, uh, T.S. Eliot, Ezra Pound, Hemingway, uh, the last chapter, Retrospect, 1932, The 20s, and The Great American Thing. I really enjoy his writings. I've been reading them for years. So I got that. So I've been reading that, and I mentioned I've been reading the really offbeat stories of complete Gary Lit Lutz. So I've been reading that, and I've read over 100 pages in this. I picked this up yesterday. Uh, what was it? Oh, yesterday I had to go pick up coffee beans at, down the street. And right uh, the next block is Action House Thrift Store, which is a provides clothing, housing, not housing, food or furniture and food for the poor, and helps people in the community. And they have they sell used books, and I picked this up, Paul Thoreau, Thorax, the Collective Stories. I, I didn't have this, and I have thirty books by him. He's famous for his travel books. Uh, He's written all kinds of books. Uh, the Riding the Re Iron Rooster, a travel book. The Happy Isles of Oceana. The Pillars of Hercules. The Kingdom by the Sea. Uh, the Great Ware Road Bazaar. He's written tons of books. And I've always enjoyed reading him. So I picked this up. So I was reading this last night. A short story out of here. I've shown you this. I've been still reading this. I do read. I read all the time. <laughs> This is Terry McDonald, Accidental Life, an editor's notes on writing and writers. Really enjoying this. I'm almost, I've read over almost 200 pages in this. I think I showed this book, Americans in Paris, a literary anthology by Adam Gelnick, Gopnik, Nick. So I've been reading this. I've read oh a hundred pages in this. So I'm always reading. If I'm not reading, I'm looking at books on Amazon or literary websites, or I'm looking at bibliographies while I'm down in my library looking things up, looking at my books. I'm reading, I'm writing in my diary. That's what I do. I, I'm not into marathon running. I'm not into... Uh, I just read and write, and of course I'm married, I'm married to my wife, I got grandchildren. Uh, I'll be going back to the Book Nook in June, the library used bookstore, which I volunteer there on Mondays and Fridays. I go to thrift stores, uh, I watch the birds, I like taking pictures of flowers, you know, I'm just a very simple Christian guy. Also, I've been reading in the mornings for morning worship. I showed this book yesterday, The Paradox of Sonship, Christology and the Epistle of Hebrews by R.B. Jamison. And I've been reading for morning worship, God and Himself, Scripture, Metaphysics, and the Task of Christian Theology by Stephen J. Dumby. Dumby. 
So I read these and um, read the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, and uh, write in my diary. I'll be hitting page 600 today for the year 2021. Tomorrow is the last day of May, then we go on into June. Hopefully, I'll be contacted about getting those uh, new bookcases in the first part of June. Get those filled up and do the final purge. I'll probably be taking out close to a couple hundred books, maybe more the month of June. And purifying the library, make, get boiling it down to the essence of pure literary consciousness. So I do, uh, once again, I want to thank you for all the support and all the comments. But I didn't, uh, I took the video down. I don't, I'm a man of peace, a man of love, goodwill. I want to be, I don't want to be a bummer. I don't want people to be upset. And, you know, and I admit that I have, I get very self, I'm defensive maybe, I'm, thin-skinned, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I try not to be controversial. I try to be off the radar. Uh, I like to be non-existent, <laughs> but, then I, but then I always find that a contradiction because I have a Flickr, I have YouTube, I have four online diaries, and I just put myself out there all the time, even though I consider myself a very introverted, shy kind of individual. So I can't figure it out. But yeah, so that's what I've been reading. Like I said, I read all the time. <laughs> I am a reader. I just don't get books. And like I said, now that I've made this big, huge, gigantic purge, I'm very selective. Uh, like uh, I told myself, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get any more fiction unless it's really something unusual, something that really strikes my interest. Like I picked this up because I collect. I didn't have this in my. In now, some writers I got rid of in the purge. Some writers I kept. And some writers, I will continue to get their writings. Like uh, William T. Voldman has uh, books coming out this summer. I'm going to buy them. But uh, certain writers I probably won't be getting. So uh, I just want to stop by. Hope you had a good reading weekend. Have a good new week. I do pray that if I've upset anybody, please forgive me. I don't want to be uh, upset people. I, I do, and maybe I get upset too easily or too defensive or whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, that was not my intention. So I made that video private, but I do thank you for all the support, for all the comments all the new subscribers and uh, yeah so it is now 10:52 on a sunday late morning may the 30th i'll continue to read and write and pray and just keep going down the death flow until next time bye